Welcome to Electron Line, and here's another interesting example of how we deal with radiation. And in this particular case, we're going to look at the interesting result we sometimes have on cold mornings. Uh, when we wake up, we come outside, we look at our car, and we find frost on top of the car, even though the air temperature may not be below freezing. Let's say the air temperature is at 40 degrees Fahrenheit. It's cool, but not freezing. It's about 5 degrees centigrade. Why would there be frost on top of the car? So what's happening here is that through the night, radiation is, is being emitted into space from the surface of the car, and of course, that will cause the temperature of the surface of the car to drop down. At the same time, however, heat is, heat is being added to the surface of the car through convection currents, <coughs> with the, uh, the air temperature being above freezing. But if the net balance is such that more heat escapes than then will arrive through the uh, convection currents from the air, then the temperature of the car will continue to go down. So let's say that the uh, heat added by the convection currents is equal to, let's say, 270 watts per square meter. What will be the temperature of the top of the car when that happens? Well, what we can say is we can say that dQ dt is equal to the emissivity times sigma times the surface area times temperature to the fourth power. So what we're going to do then is we're going to realize that more heat is going to be emitted than is being received and so the car will continue to uh, cool down until finally that equilibrium temperature is reached until the dQ dt equals the heat being added by the air and at that point the temperature will not go any lower. So the question is what will be the temperature of the car? Well, the first thing we're going to do is assume that it's, we're going to calculate the dQ dt first with the temperature at 40 degrees Fahrenheit. So start with T equals to 40 degrees Fahrenheit, which is about 5 centigrade, which is about 278 Kelvin. All right, at that temperature, how much heat is being generated? So dQ dt is equal to, let's say it's a 0 0.9 for emissivity of the top of the car times 5.67 times 10 to the minus 8 watts per meter squared Kelvin to the fourth power. Uh, area, we're going to consider one square meter. And then the temperature to the fourth power, that would be 278 Kelvin raised to the fourth power. All right, what would then be the heat generator or the heat being emitted by that car? So let's see here, we have 0.9 times 5.67 e to the 8 minus times 1 times 278 to the fourth power equals and it looks like 305 watts per square meter. So this is a dQ dt per square meter since we're only considering one square meter here. And notice that is more than the heat being added by the cold air so the temperature of the car will continue to go down. Notice that this is only the case when the car is being exposed to open space on a clear night. If it's a cloudy night, that typically won't happen. And if it's underneath a shelter, that typically won't happen as well. So now we're going to consider, now we're going to try to find out what is the equilibrium temperature if the emitted energy is the same as the energy received from the air. So now we're going to plug this 270 into the dQ dt and it being equal to E sigma area times temperature to the fourth power. And now we're going to find out what the temperature then will be when we reach that equilibrium heat exchange. All right, that means our equation is now going to become that the temperature is going to be equal to the fourth power of dQ dt divided by E sigma A. So that would be dQ dt, the heat received from the air, divided by E sigma and that mean and area and of course we're just going to consider one square meter surface so this is equal to the square root of uh, we said 270 watts divided by 0 0.9 divided by 5.67 times 10 to the minus 8 watts per square meter kelvin to the fourth power and times the area which is one meter squared all right, so let's see what the equilibrium temperature would be then. So we have 270 uh, divided by 0.9 divided by 5.67 e to the 8 minus and divide by 1 and then take the fourth root of that and it looks like 270 Kelvin. 270 Kelvin, which is equal to minus 3 degrees centigrade. So definitely 
below freezing. And that explains then why ice will begin to adhere itself to the top of the car, because at that point you also will have condensation of the air molecules hitting the roof, uh, going down the dew point, uh, going below the dew point, molecules of vapor molecules being attached to the car in the, in the form of dew, and of course then when the temperature at the top of the car reaches below freezing, those little uh, droplets of dew will then begin to freeze and a layer of frost will then develop on top of the car. You'll see that layer of frost develop on grass, on, on all kinds of different things. But then when you look underneath a tree, you probably will not find any frost there because then you're protected from the radiation reaching space. So anyway, there's an interesting uh, example of how radiation at night can cause frost to develop on top of cars, the top of objects and grass when the temperature of the air is not below freezing. An interesting perspective on radiation.